guys, so I'm currently in Hawaii and I woke up really early this morning because I'm still on LA time and Hawaii is three hours earlier than LA. And I thought it was such a pretty day, I just kind of wanted to film. So I'm filming in front of this big window and I'm actually going to take my camera outside on the patio and show you guys uh, what the view looks like because it's so pretty. And I tried to film out there actually and when I tested it, the audio it was like too windy so it didn't work. So I brought it inside. I haven't done a glitter gossip in a really, really long time and I've kind of been neglecting this channel a little bit and I know you guys have been asking for more videos. It's gorgeous here. I've never actually been to Hawaii and I am loving it. We're on the big island of Hawaii and we're doing some sightseeing. We're going on a snorkel cruise later on today, which I am so excited about. I've never snorkeled. I think I snorkeled once when I was like five, but my dad like held me the whole time, so I don't think that counts. So we're doing that today, and um, I tried to take a, a lava rock for Pinecone as a souvenir to go with his sombrero collection for Mexico, but everyone told me on Twitter that that's bad luck. So I am not taking a lava rock off of the island. I will get pine cone, like a coconut shell or something else for his souvenir collection. Cause apparently I don't want to bring bad luck back with me to LA. That's not good. My name is Elle Fowler and I have puppy fever. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you already know. And actually if you followed like my old blog, I've had puppy fever for about four years. I've just never gotten one because I feel like cats are easier and I was moving a lot and I wasn't like settled in life. And I just thought that, you know, if I had to pick an animal, cats are easier to kind of tote along with you wherever you go. And I travel with Pinecone, he's the best little traveler. And some people are getting upset on Twitter and saying that I can't share my love between two animals, but I disagree. I think that a cat and a dog do not compete. I think that they're very like different and I really want a puppy and I'm probably gonna get one soon. So I'm just telling you guys so that it's not like, what, you got a dog? Since when do you even like dogs? Cause I feel like that would be some people's reaction cause I'm such a cat person, but I'm a dog person too, I just, Never had one since doing YouTube. I did have a dog when I was in sixth grade. I keep looking outside because it's so pretty. It's kind of hard not to. Um, if you guys are wondering why I keep looking into the abyss. I've been traveling a lot. If you guys haven't noticed, I've been basically traveling this whole month. And that's why the videos have been lacking because I do bring my camera with me, but unless I have a light source and really like a place where I can film, I can't really do it as proved this morning by trying to film outside. It doesn't work unless you really like set it up. So I wasn't able to film in Florida, but I am filming now here in Hawaii. It's a beautiful morning on the island of Hawaii. I'm drinking Hawaiian water. Yeah, it's really good actually. I wish we had this in LA. Do we have these in LA? I don't think so, but I'm gonna look cause they're really good. Because I've been traveling so much, I have been watching a lot of TV because I can watch it when I'm on the plane, on my computer, and if I'm in a car ride, I can download it and watch it. And it's kind of one of those things that helps me pass the time when I'm traveling, because I actually really dislike traveling. So because I've been traveling so much and I've had extra time, I'm obsessed with four shows. Four. I am like diehard addicts of four different shows. I can't watch more than four or else I wouldn't have time to do anything else in my entire life, but four is the perfect number. And I thought that I would share with you what my thoughts are on these four because I'm kind of in love with all four of them. The first one is Big Brother. That is my go-to summertime show. I kind of want to be on Big Brother, actually. I think that that would be fun, except I don't know if I would actually be able to be away from Pinecone and my family for a whole summer, but that sounds really fun to me. And I feel like they have a really good time in the house. And it just seems like a show that I would be good at versus Survivor, which I would not be good at. The second show that I'm obsessed with is Summer Break. That is an online reality show. And the thing that I like about the fact that it's online is that it's on demand. So when I'm traveling, I actually have to download my other episodes like on iTunes. I have the Big Brother season pass, so they download on iTunes. But you have to buy them and then you have to download them. You have to wait for them to download. And if you're on an airplane, sometimes the download speed is super slow and it just doesn't download. And you're like, I want to watch a show while I eat my food. But Summer Break is on YouTube, so I find it a lot more easy to just access the shows immediately. And there's one every single weeknight, although the Sunday night episodes are the longest and the best ones. Those are the ones I really look forward to. And there's a ton on there and you can catch up with them, you know, all at once and they're kind of short episodes which makes it really easy to watch a bunch of them at once as opposed to having 
you know, to take, to commit a lot of time to watching an entire season of a show where you might be like, I don't have the time, I don't wanna watch it. When I'm on YouTube catching up with my subscriptions, watching all of my favorite people, it's really easy to just watch this and get very addicted and sucked into the show. It is about nine people just having the summer of their lives and having fun and the characters are very addictive. You get kind of close to them and my favorite is Whitney and Ray. I don't know when they're gonna kiss. They need to do it now. We've been waiting. Oh, and my favorite part about their relationship like my favorite thing that's ever happened I'm pretty sure was when they're going on their date to the putt putting course and Whitney says to Ray do I look tan to you and he goes you look like a golden potato chip I think I would have been offended I mean I guess he's saying that she's tan which is a good thing but like who says that I just thought I got the giggles I had to like tell everyone I showed Blair I was like look what he says to her and she was like I would have taken that as a compliment but Blair takes everything as a compliment you can tell her she's ugly and she'll be like yeah thanks and mean it because she's cray. Write me a comment below who your favorite Big Brother character is and who you think is the cutest character in Summer Break. Who do you think the cutest boy is? And do you like Whitney and Ray together? My next two favorites are dramas. So the first two shows were very feel-good shows, very summery. You watch it and you just want to like be a part of the show. The next two I wouldn't necessarily want to be a part of, but I really like watching. They're definitely more of a time commitment. I have to actually sit down and say, okay, I'm going to commit and watch this and pay attention. Because if you don't pay attention, you have no clue what's going on. But they're nice to kind of... I don't know, focus on something at the end of the day versus the first two shows are more like feel good, watch it, and you know, they're lighthearted. So they are Game of Thrones and True Blood. I've been following True Blood, I'm caught all up to date, and um, I'm definitely loving the storyline right now. I love that they brought Sarah back because I thought that her season was the best one. The Fellowship of the Light or whatever it was called. The Fellowship of the Sun, I think that's what it was. Yeah. Game of Thrones, I am not caught up. I'm still on season two. I'm halfway through season two and I'm reading the second book currently, which brings me to the fact that I owe you guys a lot of glitteratures. I need to be doing glitteratures. You guys have been requesting them. I'm actually thinking about doing a glitterature series on my blog. Someone just slammed the door. Probably like, what is she talking about? There's a bee outside. I also have been doing blog posts. I have two new blogs if you guys don't know. I Heart You Coffee is like my lifestyle and decor and like pet blog. I'm gonna blog about pinecone and maybe the new puppy if I get one. And Dreaming and Blush is my beauty and fashion blog. So I will link them both below. You guys should check them out. That's what I've been doing all month. If you guys are wondering, I haven't been completely MIA. I have been blogging and tweeting constantly. I'm thinking about doing written book reviews on iheartyoucoffee.com. So let me know in a comment if you guys are interested in that, but I will have some glitterters up. I owe you guys a ton. I might do like a couple of just mega glitterature videos where I review like 10 books at once because I've been reading a lot. Although I will admit as much as I love reading, I've been kind of watching TV a little bit more in my free time than reading, but I am reading the second Game of Thrones book. So, and it's good. I think the books follow the show like, or the show I guess follows the books really, really well. What else do I have to catch you guys up on? Oh my goodness. I feel like it's been ages. I bought a couple of cute things at a little store here in Hawaii. I got this. I've never heard of this before, but I thought it was cute. It's called Honey Girl Organics Face and Eye Cream, 91% organic. I thought the container was kind of cute. And I saw this at a little store and I was like, I've never heard of that brand. It is made with the honey of bees fed on the sun-kissed tropical flowers on the north shore of Oahu. Oh, and this. Don't tell Jellybean that I got her this, but I got her these little candies called goat balls because she loves goats, and they're little chocolates. They're milk and dark caramel goat balls, covered caramel with sea salt. They actually sound super good. Tasty balls of fun, that's what it says on here. I thought that was really funny. I could not resist getting these for her. This is gonna be her souvenir. I can't get pinecone chocolate. I don't think he would like goat balls anyway. I have to bring him like a lay or something. We did get lays. It's kind of dying at this point. But they're real flower lays and I was very excited because I did not even know that lays were real flowers. For some reason I thought they were just like little um, paper flowery kind of things. But it came in like a little box, like a corsage, a little like container so you could put it in the fridge. And I thought that was real cute. So I'm going to take my camera out on the patio right now and show you guys what my view looks like. Okay, so this is the view from the side of my patio. That's the ocean. It's beautiful. And then over here is the view from the front. This is kind of what I look out onto from my bedroom. I can zoom in on it a little bit. 
I think that tree is really pretty with the red little flowers. Little bubbling stream. It's a really pretty tree, huge tree. The bird sounds so nice, I love it. And I will see you guys soon with my next video.